Warning, this video is going to be completely shocking. Ow! Ah! That hurt! Yeah, it's that shocking, alright? Because in this video, I'm going to be showing you just that. Here, I welcome you to another round of our Halloween Tricks videos. For this, let's knock away into this video with a very special door handle. Hey, you know about uh, being mostly ghostly? Jeez, there's a ghost! Wow! Amazing! Okay, well, as it is, let's get to our first trick up of the evening. And that goes into your thumb! And that is the rip off thumb prank. Here is what this looks like. Do you know I got this incredible kink in my thumb? If you just, just want to take my thumb off, well, watch. Just gonna just try and just. See if I'm gonna try to take my thumb out. Man, it's, a really, it's really tough. It's really hard killing this. Oh, man, it's super tough. Oh, I'm still working on it. Oh, man. Wait. Disgusting. I was working so hard. My thumb came off. And all you see, no thumb. At least a little stub part, but my entire thumb. That is disgusting. And when this is done, I'm about to reveal the secret to you right now. All you'll need for this is two simple things. One, your magician's thumb tip, and to make it, the old thumb, some aluminum foil, and you're going to paint it black. I'm going to actually mold it into your thumb and paste it into your thumb just like this. That way, it looks, looks like there's no thumb on your thumb. Your dude's gonna slip your magician's thumb tip on just like this and only pinch down on here and hold it like this. That way it'll be easier to, to pull off. Suck it back in so that way it looks like the same tips of your fingers. Try very very hard and try as much fuss while trying to take off your thumb tip. Really it's very easy to come off. So you make this fuss, and then you just go give it a tug, and then with that, show your thumb tip, and then show the results. And then by magic, you rip your thumb tip off, leaving no thumb tip on. As soon as it gets done, dispose of your, your th th thumb tip. And you can also go into the rehealing despite removing this, like this. And then giving it a rub. And rehealing -he your thumb. And that there is how you do the rip off thumb prank. Before we get any, 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 any further, you can see this black candle. Come close and let's take a look at it. Okay, so if you can see this, I'm going to see if the spirits can actually put a flame to that candle right now. If there's any spirits here, can you please put some flame on the tip of my black candle? <gasps> Mostly ghostly, man. That is shockingly amazing. Watch this. There's my hand.
It is the man extra ghostly. And then from there goes into the nail. Not that nail. I g g got you on that one. Because of the second one, which is the stuck nail in the finger prank egg. Here is what that looks like. Oh! I got this nail like right through my finger. Ah! Is it through and through? That's enough to make me go green! How is this one done? I'm about to reveal the secret. All it means what you'll see here. This is not a real nail. It looks like it, but it's not. It's actually one of those gimmick nails. You can see it's all been taped on uh, here. Because here's the nail part here. You're gonna tape it here, and that's some of your fake blood or a little bit of paint, red paint, onto a tissue paper. Making a nice channel way for your finger to go in, kind of like a cot, like this. That way, you can see the through, that's just through and through. And it really does look like uh, a through and through. And they, and they all stuck, impaled through your pointer finger. You can also fill them, and just give them the come here sign with the nail into your finger. Give it up for the stuck nail in the finger. And that is how you do the stuck nail in the finger prank egg. Now we're getting into the wound of everything. And that's our third one. And that is the spooktacular bloody wound prank egg. Here is what this looks like. You can see you got this wound I'm covering and it's starting to seep right through. You can see it here. Oh man, that, that, this really, that just really is just... Oh man. Oh. How is that earthly possible? My wound is mysteriously flashing. Can see? Oh. Okay, you really want to just this is done? Because this is the time to reveal. That's to get to you right now. All you need is what you'll see here. Okay, all you need for this is some gauze, and you're going to design a wound, a wound on it, some black and some red. And this happens to be an, L an LED that's been in the inside. I will show you here what it what it is. Let's go open it up. It's this taped in the inside of some gauze like that. Like the tape using is. Scotch tape. What you want to do is hold it into your hand and press in. That way it looks like it's part of the wound that's in your hand seeping into the, um, the batting that's, that's covering the hand. All you're going to do is you're going to flip the switch just right here. As you think it's going to be, be like, like, an, like an itchy wound, it's going to turn it and just like, to it, to give it a little itch, and then by magic, your wound, your bloody wound, begins to flash the color of red. Makes another one that can also turn someone and turn them into green as well. Ooh, spooktacular! And from there is how you do the spooktacular. Bloody wound prank gag. And from here, we get to our third one, and that is no to our fourth one. Goes in, into craters, and that goes into the hand. And this one here, uh, our fourth one, and that is a crater in the hand. Chill trick. Here is what this looks like. Okay, I think it's something wrong with my hand, because every time I feel like as if there is a hole in my hand. See, it's, it's seriously, there's a hole in my hand. 
to a big, big crater where it doesn't lead. What? We're through and through. The crater has gone from my palm of my hand and to my back hand. I gotcha. Really good. You've been pranked. How is this one done? I'm about to reveal the secret. All you'll need is what you'll see here. There are a few simple things that you'll be needing. An applicator, got like a little paintbrush, you use the tip. And next is your block makeup for this one. This is what you'll see here in this pack that you'll see right here. Here is how to apply this. You need to take this out and get your uh, paint, uh, paintbrush and just get on your makeup. I'm going to press it like this. That way you can paint it onto your hand like this. And put into a circle like this. Okay. Best bet is uh, using the, the uh, tip of it as well, too, and just digging it out a little bit and just enriching it like this. If it gets a little over, that's okay. You'll just intensify the crater in your hand. You're going to do the same here onto your backhand. And here, again, onto your backhand. Doesn't have to be exactly the right um, kind of circles, because sometimes craters can be different size on either or, but you still get the effect of the through and through. Like that. So here, you get that right there again like that get it all over like that so here you get the crater on the back of your hand and the crater into your palm what you're going to do is you want to close your hand is just like this, so they don't get to see this right away. And then as you're about to give them the handshake, reveal the crater into your palm first. After that is do the paddle, the paddle move with your hand, and show them the opposite side to your back hand. That way they get to see the through and through of the crater in your hand. It's a very easy one, very self-working, and also it comes off very easy. All you need for that is uh, hot water and soap, and it'll come off. I'm giving you a hand, nice thing, and clean. And from there is how you do the crater in the hand. Ch uh, a chill trick. Now here's a come up for you guys that goes into the arm of everything. And that comes into our fifth one. And that is the compound fracture Halloween prank. Here is what this looks like. Cause you can take your arm. Watch. Oh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> compound fracture. You have been pranked really, really shockingly great. How's this one done? How about to reveal the secret? All you need is a prosthetic. Then you're gonna tape some double sided tape onto it. And you're gonna hide it with your stage blood. Which is what you'll see right here. Going to use an applicator like any, any tip will do, and just move it to hide everything on your prosthetic. This is a compound fracture prosthetic, by the way. So that way it looks nice and disgusting, and it looks pretty gross. You can also just branch up to here a little bit like that. 
That way it spars upward. Okay, to create that pop, here's what you'll need for that one. You'll need is this uh, a, a popping um, thing here. It is a protection thing. These things pop like this. That's all that was to it. You're gonna hide this. Use your fist to hide this, and as you blow your hand, you're gonna pop this. So it sounds like you actually did some damage to your arm. Drop this. So blood on your knuckles if you want to, and then reveal the compound fracture on your arm. And right there, you'll definitely give someone the chills with that one. And that is how you do the compound fracture Halloween prank. Put that in there as a scare prank. Because as you do that, you can also scare someone in the same process, creating the chill factor. And from there, slinking your way down to our sixth one, and that is a spooky arm spider fangs trick. Here is what that looks like. Okay, you can see these creepy spider veins. <clears throat> We're gonna actually just actually try and elevate this guy. And hold and take out my vein. Again. Guess I won't be needing those spider veins. How is this one done? I'm about to reveal the secret. All what you need is what you'll see here. It is scotch tape, and those veins were not actual veins. Do you know what they were? They were a wire, colored wire, that looks like real veins. I'll show you them up close. And that's what you'll see here. So here's a wire, blue wire, and a red wires. These really do look like veins. What you're going to do is going to actually kind of just adjust them, make it look nice and spooky, and apply it to your, your arm just like this with the tape. Like this. So that way it stays nice and flush to your forearm. So once taped down nice and flush to your arm, it gives the effect of actual spider veins. What I was going to do is going to uh, pick up one, elevate it, and then give this rip and tear up. And pull out one vein, and do the same to the other veins. Like this. And there you go. End of your spider veins. You can get those um, kind of wires down at your local hardware store in the wire, in the wire section. Now I'm wondering um, if that ghost is still there. I wonder. Tell me if you see it. Way down there. That is definitely shocking. Anyways, let's carry on with the rest of the video. And that is how you do the spooky arm spider veins trick. And I'll also put that into a prank as well too. I'll be putting that in the brackets in the, the description box. Now a seventh one that goes into the thumb, and that is the bleeding thumb prank. Here is what that looks like. You see my thumb? Watch. Oh. Ugh, the 
bleeding thumb. You wanna know how this is done? I'm about to reveal the secret. But it does look pretty chilling and it looks pretty bloody. Okay, here are the things that you'll need to pull this one off. One, your magician's thumb tip, that'll create your thumb. Next thing you need is the theatrical stage blood. What you want to do is play, put this into your thumb tip just like this. Get quite a bit inside of it. That way, you'll get a good amount. What you want to do is hide it this in a way that you don't get to see this part because you can kind of vaguely see the fake blood in the inside of it. What you want to do is place the thumb tip in like this. Don't put it in all the way yet. Hold it like this and only take one portion of it like this and hide, hide it just like this with the other fingers. What you want to do is be very forcefully push it in and it'll come spewing out of your thumb like this. As you work it out like this, it'll start to actually just work its way out. You can also move your finger and even to get out that way too. It looks pretty disgusting. You can also like push your finger in like that. You can also see some bubble action. That will also take out too. And from there, you get a lot of blood from your thumb. It's a, uh, a very chilling one. I fully recommend this one. This one here you could do for Halloween. In the falls, stays blood, and of course, your magician's thumb tip. That was bloody great. Because these thumb tips are very washable, very easy to clean out, and also is very cl cleanable. Once you finish the trick, it's very easy easy to, to clean up after yourself. And that is how you do the bleeding thumb prank. And now this one goes right into the hand. We our eighth one, which I like to call the mouse trap to the hand. Bloody prank. It was what this looks like. Ah! I should have touched that mouse trap. I think I'm gonna pass out. Uh. I'm fine. But you've been pranked. How is this one? I'm about to reveal the secret. All you need is a mouse trap. And all you need for this is a little bit of your stage blood. And. My fingers weren't really busted after all. Here is what you'll need f f for that, and that's what you'll see here. It's a black one of those makeup crayons you'll see right here. I'll show you how this is done. Okay, so this you can actually is just open up your little mouse trap, and you can get these little um, started that sells. Rat, um, rat and mouse traps. I'm gonna place this just like this. Now take your, well, your black marker or your black thing here and just draw it in like this on each finger, making sure that you get everywhere. That way it looks like as if the trap had busted your fingers open. And from there, get your stage blood and put on to your fingertips a little bit like this. Drag it. And just kind of just go around to your fingers like this so it looks nice and bloody. Like that. You can also put some on the trap too if you want to. Make it more bloodier. That way it looks like this. You can see that you get some blood. Closer to your, your knuckles. Like that. 
then you can also do some dabbing onto your back cannon as well to make another attachment to your blood. That way it looks just like this. From here, hold your hand over so you don't don't get get to see a thing. As you pick up the trap, move your hand, release the covering of your hand, and sew the um, trap onto your fingers for the blood. And you can see the separation on my fingers on to the trap. You'll see right here. And that is how you do the mouse trap to the hand bloody prank. Now here's something you can dab into someone. You know, not, not a nice one, it's a magic one. And that is the magic nail in the person. Fun magic trick. Here's what this looks like. So you can see my person here? You did do something pretty magical. You can just take this here, then just get this, and open. That, and here's my nail that you see right here. What you're gonna do is gonna actually just place this person, and so it's just like this. Watch, so you're gonna actually just take this, and just take that person up again. Watch. <sighs> and by magic, I give it a hole and blood coming out of it. How is this one done? I'm about to reveal. The secret. All you need is this wooden person going to do some artwork, create a crater, some blood with some felt mar marker, and one is completely clean. What you want to do is show this so they can see this to full. What you're going to do is as it places in, in you're going to actually flip it like this. So that way that goes in. Move it up like that. This is going to allow the legs here. It's a space to sink that nail in the inside. Take your nail and then just drive the nail in through the person. This again, it was a completely different, uh, the same person being impaled by that by that nail. Take the nail out, and I gotta do is to just open up. The paper, construction paper, and so the impalements. They've been made by the nail. And that there is how you do the magic nail in the person. Fun magic trick. Now, here's the killer one for you guys that goes into cards and it's coming to, to our tenth one. And that is the, the killer cut cards. Trick prank. It was what the card is to you right now. Okay, you can see my my hand here. I'm gonna just take this here. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take this card here and watch. Ow! Right into my hand. My arm. Now as I can see, oh, that must. Can't even take it out. It's pretty stuck. It hurts too. Oh, oh, quite the, quite the killer that was. I had to go to the hospital get his card removed. Okay, how is this done? I'm about to reveal the secret to you right now. Here's what you, what you need to pull off the killer card. Okay, all you need for this is some old cards. You're going to cut one to the size of your wrist or arm. Like that, you're going to hide this in the midst of this. So that way it looks like only one card. Like that. That way you don't, you don't get to see 
the separate the the cut that you cut right here, like that. Next thing you'll need is your black makeup marker and just give it just a few slits like this. Wider. That way the color will fit in. And let's go lightly in the middle like this. That will give the separation for the card to get lanced right inside of it. And here, put a little bit of stage blood onto it. So here, get your stage blood, and just put this a little bit onto it like this. I got some on here. Just kind of dab it in. Dab it to the sides. Going upward. That way makes it nice and bloody. Like that way. So this is the day go. There's the step that you'll need to pull this off. Keep the cut, the, the gas cut. Hold it close to you, to your chest. So the cards. Put this card in. It'll hide it. Like that. So you're gonna think that way. You just put that card in because you're gonna show it a little bit bit of it. Like this. Careful not to show this. Put it in as a as a covering. What I gotta do is now. I line it up to here. This right here gets shift down with your thumb. Card will drop. Keep holding that card. And by magic, the card gets impaled right into your arm. And there you go. Give it up for the 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 killer card. Oh, also intensify it just by moving it around into your arm just like this. Kind of like in a sign in a sign motion. And that is how you do the Killer Cut Cards Trick Prank. And now for our 11th one, which is the Blood Dripping Ghost Candle Trick. Here's what that looks like. Or should I say, that's what you will ghostly like. See, I got my uh, candle here. I can just take my candle. And it gives me, and it gives me blood. <sighs> How is this then? I'm about to reveal the secret. For this, you need a vial of Steve's blood, palmed into your hand, with the candle like this, and facing the candle towards him like that. Next thing you need is a lighter. Going to actually now is like a flame. There. And as you dump this down, you're going to actually push this as you put your candle down like this. And then, by magic, Blood, making sure that this is hidden. You also start dripping into your hand blood from the candle. From here, blow out the candle or close to the blood. And that is how you do the blood dripping ghost candle trick. And now going into a Hank, which is our 12th one, and that is a haunted Hank ghost magic trick. Here was what. It looks like to you right now. Okay, you can see my my hank right here. I just just take the, the two corners tucked it in, just like this. Watch and this was this. Watch what happen.
again. Watch. How is this done? I'm going to reveal the secret. All you need is just a, wi a wire that is right here. It is actually in some, it's just like this. Yeah, tape it nicely into here, into a nice thing, just like this, with some scotch tape on the one side, so completely bare. Place it, the one into here, which is your wire, and place the other corners together like this. Hold on to this, as now you flip it over, and what you're gonna do is let your fingers rise this, and it's gonna rise this. Hold this down. And it will rise up like this. Let go. Open it up so there's nothing there. Again, do that same thing again by putting corners back back up again. Then do it again like this. Give it a little stretch. And then, or you can do it like this. Because it had to be like that. You can go like this. You're going to hold this. And then, let it, just, let it rise off the table like this. Or, like this. Keeping your fingers closest to the table. doing that. After it is done, unfold the hank and sew it completely bare. And that is how you do the haunted hank ghost magic trick. And now for our 15th one which is the magic spirit hand glove appearing blood rose magic trick. Here is what it looks like to you right now. You see my little ghost glove here? And I got this. I'm gonna just go into here. Like this, can I see? Can I do some pretty magic? Watch. My magic, I get a blood rose. How's this then? I'm about to reveal the secret. All you need is a skeleton glove, a blood red rose, and a nice covering. What I want to do is hide that rose into the covering, just like this, and hold separately, so your glove completely empty. You know, place this very quickly in and collect. So this for inspection. Already inside, inside here. All you gotta do is you just uh, get us a toss up like this, and by magic, it gives you a blood. Rose. You can see the fancy design? Let's take a see, take a look at it. Cool, huh? <laughs> and that is how you do the magic spirit hand glove appearing red rose magic trick. And now for our 14th one, which is the spooktacular jumping spider. Trip prank. Here is what it looks like. Can you see Miss Spider? Watch. This is a very simple one. All you need is a fine line or loop. Attach it to a nice good hairy spider. A fake one. Put on a table when with your thumb. Go in and make a jump and go right into your hand. Like that. Be very quick about it too. That way, you'll magically jump from the table right to your hand. And you can get this line and your uh, fishing store. Um, look for the very, very fine line that is completely invisible. You're going to attach it onto the spider just like this. That's all there is to it. A very simple setup for this amazing trick prank. And that is how you do the spooktacular jumping. Spider 
trick prank. And now for our 15th one, which is the Magic Grim Reaper's Magic Wand Magic Trick. Here's what it looks like. See, I got my magic wand, nothing in my hand. I can just take a wand here, just and get it a hold. Watch. And by magic, I get a skull on top of this. How is this done? About to reveal the secret. All you need is a foam skull and a magic wand. You know, hide your little skull into your jacket. Yes, make sure the hole is big to fit the wand. This is connected to your fist. So completely empty. Place the wand into it like this. Bring it out. That's that. Make it holding the wand like this. What you're gonna do is throw out and then by magic, making the skull appear on the magic wand. And that there is how you do the magic grim reaper's magic wand magic trick. And now for our sixteenth one. And that is the ghostly haunted skull a candle holder trick. Here is what this looks like. That light is turned off by itself. Must be this. Look at this light here. Okay, yeah. That must be definitely haunted. It's starting to starting to really steam away there. How's this done? Here is the secret. All you need is this candle here. Skull candle. And this light goes into this LED light. What you're gonna do is gonna put some token powder into it just like this. Guess there quite a bit inside there. You're gonna blow in a minimal amount of time so that way they get to see a little bit at a time and testify at that trick look at the candle they're looking and I gotta use this blow in time by time I'm expelling the ghostly look to it that's all that is to it it's very simple because all you need is a skull, a candle that you'll see here. You can get this. We can order it in um, from your Halloween merch. Give it up for the haunted skull candle holder. And now here we are at our 17th one. It was just a Halloween phantom trick prank. Here is what this looks like. You hear Phantom of the Opera? How about the Halloween Phantom? Watch. How is this? I'm about to reveal the secret to you right now. All you need is this half a mask. There's no white, looks like a good go ghostly. And you'll need Artie's makeup things here. Gonna do is gonna actually put this on to look like part burn on the face. Because that's what the mask is hiding is a burn underneath his face. So you're looking for the, the red, the black, and the blue. Start with the black. And let's go around your face like this. Give it lines, make like burns. that. You don't have to be an artist to create like this. There's different, different types of burns out there that you can make onto your face like this. Okay, let's get down that far. Go to your red and start applying that red. Give it that burn, that, that nice, good, rich burn look. And then blue. Give it the bruising. And 
There you go. Next, you just add your mask on. Like this is your half. And then that's all there is to it. Chloe. And then just move it and reveal the burn onto your face after taking off your phantom mask. And that there is how you do the Halloween phantom trip prank. Now for our 18th one, which is the mostly ghostly haunted sk skull trick. Here's what this looks like. Okay, check this out. Can you hold it on my face here? And watch. All you need for this is this painted with um, glue and dark paint, spray paint, and a good pot up light. Go to your mask. Give it a while so it can develop into your mask, peel away, and reveal the spooky glow. Mostly ghostly. And that's how you do the haunted. Mostly ghostly skull trick. Now for the last one, our 19th one, which is the haunted ghostly skeleton trick.